Thank you, Dr. Oliverson. Yes, sir. Uh, as we talk about, um, like once again, reduction of um, municipal or county budgets when it comes to um, policing, we, we don't necessarily need to call it defunding. I think that's um, it's become a real hot button deal. But, but let me ask you this in respect to your bill. How many, how many counties does this bill affect? So it, my understanding is it counts for five counties, our largest five counties. So of the 254 counties we have in the state, it only deals with five? That, that's where the problems seem to be. The problem mm -hmm. is the, where? The defunding issue. So is your bill more about reducing budgets or is it about protecting I, I would say it's a bill about protecting public safety in our larger counties. So as we look at bills that are bracketed for particular communities, as you just bracketed for um, five counties, have we generally when we bracket those bills, that's because the city or county has come to us and asked us to, to bring this legislation forward. Did any of those counties come to you? to ask you to, to do this bill specifically for Again, them? Again, Representative, this bill is bracketed to those counties because that seems to be where the problem is. So, but, I, so they didn't come to you to ask you to do this for them? I don't think it would make sense if they're in the business of defunding and I wanted to stop them from doing that, that they would come to me and ask me to prevent them from doing that. And so I don't know where, I'm in Harris County, and I haven't seen any of my um, police department's uh, budgets reduced. Actually, especially in Houston, the budgets have increased. And I've also watched the county as I talk to our former sheriff as they have fought to increase budgets. So I don't know where you may have gotten your information that said that Harris County may be one of those counties that want to reduce its budget. Well, I can just tell you the area where I represent our local law enforcement department was defunded approximately 5.8 million in the last two months. And that is in Harris County. But I don't have the same law enforcement department in my part of the county as you do, so that would totally make sense that you wouldn't have experienced the same changes that I have. So they reduce the budget for your, what, what, what area is that? Uh, that is Northwest Harris County. Unincorporated here. Is that County. the sheriff or is that constables? Which would be the constables. The constables. Yeah. So when you look at the constables' budgets, how, how do constables' budgets work? Well, I imagine they're part of the, the county budget for, uh, for all law enforcement. They probably, you know, they have, they're part of the budget. I think it's the point I'm getting at is that they are our primary law enforcement for my community. Your community may be different. No, actually it's not. Constables, the way constables work is constables um, are hired by communities. They're hired by our neighborhoods. They're hired by well, so our sheriffs. The court systems. That, exactly. You're, you're, yeah, I mean, that's exactly. not, that, I mean, the, and, the, and so that's when, not really the scope of this bill, though, Representative. Well, We're talking did. about the county budget, not the contract deputy program. No. I know that's a hot button issue at commissioner's court, but that's not the subject of this bill. But that's a part of their budget, and that's how they but get... But that's not what and how they come to their here. I'm not going to talk over you, man. We're, I'm just trying to tell you what I know and what I've read and what I've studied as to how these budgets are created for constables as well as for sheriff's departments. And so mm -hmm. what I'm asking is if, in fact, these constables as well as sheriffs because there are well over 70 different fees that sheriffs and constables have to work with and that is everything from um, um, evictions to serving papers and if those evictions are down or if the serving of papers are down then that would mean that the budgets will go down so and in, that's a in part my of their area, budget representative our constables are our primary law enforcement. They investigate criminal activity. They, I've, you know, they do 
prostitution, sex trafficking. I mean, so, you know, again, what I'm telling you is you may have a different experience, but I'm telling you in where I live, which is 99% unincorporated, we depend upon those law enforcement agencies to keep our communities safe, and I don't want to see them go away. I don't want to see them go away either, but my question to you is, if in fact some one neighborhood in your unincorporated area of Harris County decides that it does not want to contract with the constable at that particular time, does this bill would then create that notion that they have reduced that department's budget when in fact it's simply because the community said that it does not want those constables or does not want to pay to have those constables um, patrolling their neighborhoods, which reduces the budget. It's not from a body of the commissioner's courts that says, oh, we're going to just take your budget. That's not how that works. How it works is if, and in your particular area, in precinct three and um, precinct four and five, there are over 90 contracts that precinct four and five have, and if those contracts are reduced, it has nothing to do with the commissioner's court, it has everything to do with the contractors who no longer want to contract with that, with that particular constable. How does your bill take into consideration those types of reductions? So this bill doesn't really deal with that, Representative. This bill is focused on the budget that's approved by the county commissioners. So, you know, I... Representative, Dr. Olivson, what I'm saying, there are contracts. Do you agree that there are contracts that the constables get from different neighborhoods and, and the courts and so forth and so on? Would you agree that there are contracts? I think that's how most county law enforcement functions, yes. Okay, and so that, that is... To the tune that, that's in not, your particular that's not area, the, the sum total of their budget, though, correct? And, uh, and if, so again, if contracts go away, by no fault of the county commissioners, no fault of the taxpayers, simply because the community, those neighborhoods, have chosen to no longer contract with those constables, that is a sum of money to the tune of six million dollars. Now, to that point. Where does your bill take into consideration that that $6 million was not taken from the budget, but it was a simple reduction because they lost their contracts from the community? So if you look at the bill and you go to page two and you look at line 24, that's where you would find language that allows the comptroller to make the decision about... Gentleman's time's expired.